an optical fiber connector terminates the end of an optical fiber, and enables quicker connection and disconnection than splicing. The connectors mechanically couple and align the cores of fibers so light can pass. Better connectors lose very little light due to reflection or misalignment of the fibers. In all, about 100 fiber optic connectors have been introduced to the market. Application Optical fiber connectors are used to join optical fibers where a connect disconnect capability is required. The basic connector unit is a connector assembly. A connector assembly consists of an adapter and two connector plugs. Due to the polishing and tuning procedures that may be incorporated into optical connector manufacturing, connectors are generally assembled onto optical fiber in a supply area Euro unregistered trademark S manufacturing facility. However, the assembly and polishing operations involved can be performed in the field, for example, to make cross-connect jumpers to size. Optical fiber connectors are used in telephone company central offices, at installations on customer premises, and in outside plant applications to connect equipment and cables, or to cross-connect cables. Most optical fiber connectors are spring-loaded, so the fiber faces are pressed together when the connectors are mated. The resulting glass-to-glass -glass or plastic-to-plastic -plastic contact eliminates signal losses that would be caused by an air gap between the joint fibers. Every fiber connection has two values, attenuation or insertion loss, reflection or return loss. Measurements of these parameters are now defined in IEC standard 61753-1. The standard gives five grades for insertion loss from A to D, and M for multi-mode. The other parameter is return loss, with grades from 1 to 5. A variety of optical fiber connectors are available, but SC and LC connectors are the most common types of connectors on the market. Typical connectors are rated for 500 to Euro 1000 mating cycles. The main differences among types of connectors are dimensions and methods of mechanical coupling. Generally, organizations will standardize on one kind of connector depending on what equipment they commonly use. Different connectors are required for multi-mode, and for single-mode fibers. In many data center applications, small and multi-fiber connectors are replacing larger, older styles, allowing more fiber ports per unit of rack space. Features of good connector design, low insertion loss, high return loss, ease of installation, low cost, reliability, low environmental sensitivity, Ease of use, outside plant applications may require connectors be located underground, or on outdoor walls or utility poles. In such settings, protective enclosures are often used, and fall into two broad categories, hermetic and free breathing. Hermetic cases prevent entry of moisture and air but, lacking ventilation, can become hot if exposed to sunlight or other sources of heat. Free breathing enclosures, on the other hand, allow ventilation, but can also admit moisture, insects and airborne contaminants. Selection of the correct housing depends on the cable and connector type, the location, and environmental factors. Careful assembly is required to ensure good protection against the elements. Depending on user requirements, housings for outside plant applications may be tested by the manufacturer under various environmental simulations, which could include physical shock and vibration, water spray, water immersion, dust, etc. to ensure the integrity of optical fiber connections and housing seals. Types Many types of optical connector have been developed at different times, and for different purposes. Many of them are summarized in the tables below. Obsolete connectors Notes Modern connectors typically use a physical contact polish on the fiber and ferrule end. This is a slightly convex surface with the apex of the curve accurately centered on the fiber, so that when the connectors are mated the fiber cores come into direct contact with one another. Some manufacturers have several grades of polish quality, for example a regular FC connector may be designated FCPC, while FCSPC and FCUPC may denote super and ultra polish qualities, respectively. Higher grades of polish give less insertion loss and lower back reflection. Many connectors are available with the fiber end face polished at an angle to prevent light that reflects from the interface from traveling back up the fiber. Because of the angle, 
The reflected light does not stay in the fiber core but instead leaks out into the cladding. Angle polished connectors should only be mated to other angle polished connectors. Mating to a non-angle polished connector causes very high insertion loss. Generally angle polished connectors have higher insertion loss than good quality straight physical contact ones. Ultra quality connectors may achieve comparable back reflection to an angled connector when connected, but an angled connection maintains low back reflection even when the output end of the fiber is disconnected. Angle polished connections are distinguished visibly by the use of a green strain relief boot, or a green connector body. The parts are typically identified by adding slash APC to the name. For example, an angled FC connector may be designated FCAPC, or merely FCA. Non-angled versions may be denoted FCPC or with specialized designations such as FCUPC or FCU to denote an ultra-quality polish on the fiber end face. SMA906 features a step in the ferrule, while SMA905 uses a straight ferrule. SMA905 is also available as a keyed connector, used for example, for special spectrometer applications. Mnemonics, LC connectors are sometimes called little connectors. MTRJ connectors look like a miniature RJ45 connector. Street connectors refer to having a straight tip, as the sides of the ceramic tip are parallel a euro as opposed to the predecessor B conic connector which aligned as two nesting ice cream cones would. Other mnemonics include set and twist, stab and twist, and single twist, referring to how it is inserted. Also they are known as square top due to the flat end face. SC connectors, being square, have a mnemonic of square connector, which some people believe to be the correct name, rather than the more official subscriber connector. Other terms often used for SC connectors are set and click, or stab and click. Field mountable connectors, Field mountable optical fiber connectors are used to join optical fiber jumper cables that contain one single mode fiber. These assemblies can be separated into two major categories, single jointed connector assemblies and multiple jointed connector assemblies. According to Telcordia GA 1081, a single jointed connector assembly is a connector assembly where there is only one spot where two different fibers are joined together. This is the situation generally found when connector assemblies are made from factory assembled optical fiber connector plugs. A multiple jointed connector assembly is a connector assembly where there is more than one closely spaced connection joining different fibers together. An example of a multiple jointed connector assembly is a connector assembly that uses the stub fiber type of connector plug. Field mountable optical fiber connectors are used for field restoration work and to eliminate the need to stock jumper cords of various sizes. Analysis FC connectors floating ferrule provides good mechanical isolation. FC connectors need to be mated more carefully than the push pull types due to the need to align the key, and due to the risk of scratching the fiber end face while inserting the ferrule into the jack. FC connectors have been replaced in many applications by SC and LC connectors. There are two incompatible standards for key widths on FC APC and polarization maintaining FC PC connectors, 2 ohm and 2.14 ohm. Connectors and receptacles with different key widths either cannot be mated, or will not preserve the angle alignment between the fibers, which is especially important for polarization maintaining fiber. Some manufacturers mark reduced keys with a single scribe mark on the key, and mark NTT connectors with a double scribe mark. SC connectors offer excellent packing density, and their push-pull design reduces the chance of fiber end face contact damage during connection. Frequently found on the previous generation of corporate networking gear, using GBICs. LC connectors have replaced SC connectors in corporate networking environments due to their smaller size. They are often found on small form factor pluggable transceivers. Street connectors have a key which prevents rotation of the ceramic ferrule, and a bayonet lock similar to a BNC shell. The single index tab must be properly aligned with a slot on the mating receptacle before insertion. Then the bayonet interlock can be engaged, by pushing and twisting. Locking at the end of travel which maintains spring-loaded engagement force on the core optical junction. 
In general the insertion loss should not exceed 0.75 dB and the return loss should be higher than 20 dB. Typical insertion repeatability, the difference in insertion loss between one plugging and another, is 0.2 dB. On all connectors, cleaning the ceramic ferrule before each connection helps prevent scratches and extends the connector life substantially. Connectors on polarization maintaining fiber are sometimes marked with a blue strain relief boot or connector body, although this is far from a universal standard. Sometimes a blue buffer tube is used on the fiber instead. MTRJ uses a form factor and latch similar to the 8P8C connectors. Two separate fibers are included in one unified connector. It is easier to terminate and install in street or SC connectors. The smaller size allows twice the port density on a faceplate than street or SC connectors do. The MTRJ connector was designed by AMP, but was later standardized as FOCIS-12 and EIATIA-604-12. There are two variations, pinned and no pin. The pinned variety, which has two small stainless steel guide pins on the face of the connector, is used in patch panels to mate with the no-pin connectors on MTRJ patch cords. MPO is a connector for ribbon cables with 4 to 24 fibers. Connectors for single-mode fiber have angled ends to minimize back reflection, while multi-mode fiber versions typically have flat ends. MTP is a brand name for a version of the MPO connector with improved specifications. MTP and MPO connectors intimate. Hardened fiber optic connectors and hardened fiber optic adapters are passive telecommunications components used in an outside plant environment. They provide drop connections to customers from fiber distribution networks. These components may be provided in pedestal closures, aerial and buried closures in terminals, or equipment located at customer premises such as a fiber distribution hub or an optical network terminal or termination unit. These connectors, which are field matable and hardened for use in the OSP, are needed to support fiber to the premises deployment and service offerings. HFOCs are designed to withstand climatic conditions existing throughout the U.S., including rain, flooding, snow, sleet, high winds, and ice and sandstorms. Ambient temperatures ranging from a Euro 40 a degree Celsius to plus 70 a degree Celsius can be encountered. Telcordia GR3120 contains the Indusia Euro unregistered trademark S most recent generic requirements for HFOCs and HFOAs. Testing Glass fiber optic connector performance is affected both by the connector and by the glass fiber. Concentricity tolerances affect the fiber, fiber core, and connector body. The core optical index of refraction is also subject to variations. Stress in the polished fiber can cause excess return loss. The fiber can slide along its length in the connector. The shape of the connector tip may be incorrectly profiled during polishing. The connector manufacturer has little control over these factors, so in-service performance may well be below the manufacturer's specification. Testing fiber optic connector assemblies falls into two general categories, factory testing and field testing. Factory testing is sometimes statistical, for example, a process check. A profiling system may be used to ensure the overall polished shape is correct, and a good quality optical microscope to check for blemishes. Optical loss slash return loss performance is checked using specific reference conditions, against a reference standard single mode test lead, or using an encircled flux compliant source for multi mode testing. Testing and rejection may represent a significant part of the overall manufacturing cost. Field testing is usually simpler. A special handheld optical microscope is used to check for dirt or blemishes. A power meter and light source or an optical loss test set is used to test end-to-end -to -end loss, and an optical time domain reflectometer may be used to identify significant point losses or return losses. Notes. See also. Optical fiber cable color coding of connector boot and fiber cable jackets, optical attenuator fiber optic attenuator, gap loss attenuation sources and causes, index matching material liquid gel to reduce Fresnel reflection, references, AB connector identifier. The Fiber Optic Association
2010. Retrieved March 31, 2013er, Alon, Vivg. Fiber Optic Technologies. Retrieved August 15, 2011 A, A B C D E F G H I K E Z A, GERD. Optical Communications Essentials. McGraw-Hill Networking Professional. PA 132 a Euro. ISBN A0-07-141204-2A, A B C Shimaji, Noko. Yamakawa, John. Shino, Misato. Development of Mini MPO Connector. Furukawa Review, 92A, Frequently Asked Questions. U.S. Connect. Retrieved February 12, 2009A, The Importance of Geometry for Fiber Optic Connectors. Corning Cable Systems. April 2006A, Yin, Ling. Huang, H. Chen, W.K. Xiong, Z. Liu, Y.C. TO, PL Polishing of Fiber Optic Connectors. International Journal of Machine Tools and Manufacture 44, 659 Euro 668 DOI, 10.1016 slash JI Mach Tools. 2003.10.029er, GIA 1081, Generic Requirements for Field Mountable Optical Fiber Connectors, Telcordia. Sazaman, Omer. Best, Garland. Accurate alignment preserves polarization. Laser Focus World. Retrieved March 12, 2009. R. Polarization maintaining fiber patch cords and connectors. Oz Optics. Retrieved February 6, 2009. R. MTP MPO Fiber Solution A. GR13 Core. Generic requirements for pedestal terminal closures. Telcordia. GR3120. Generic requirements for hardened fiber optic connectors and hardened fiber optic adapters, Telcordia. Fiber optic connectors, more fiber optic connectors, external links, fiber optic connector reference, how to terminate fiber optic connectors, pictures and video, fiber optic connector termination processes, SC connector termination anaerobic processes.